In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the seams concept out of the gun type formation of Man 23. This concept is super effective for attacking zone blitzes, zone coverage, DB Fire 2. It's also decent against man, but its primary, primary focus is to attack when defenses start to go to zone based off other things that we're doing to get them out of man coverage. Now, if you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. That will be linked down in the description. That's where you can get access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Just dropped a brand new ebook yesterday. Um, so if you guys want to get that, you get access to everything by becoming a member. The link is down in the description below. All right, guys, so the seams concept out of gun tight, we're going to be utilizing the play mesh spot, uh, primarily for the seam wheel that it has. Uh, I'll show you on the field here. If you look at this wheel route, this wheel is a little bit, if I were to hot route Bettis to a wheel, you're going to notice that the if I hot, the hot routed wheel is just a little bit more uh, inside, right? And then you can see here, this one's just a little bit more kind of angled outside. So there's a little bit of a difference. It's not a ton of difference. Um, and you can freestyle this play out of anything. But I do like this because it does have the wheel route on it. All right. So our setup for this is fairly straightforward. What we're going to do is we're going to want to attack the seams. That's our primary goal with the play. And so we're going to streak our um, our slot receiver here, Michael Irvin. We're going to post route our tight end. If you don't have a ability to do that, then you can use this play here, uh, slot post, and you could run it like this and create the same basic, uh, basic thing, okay? Uh, but the beauty of this play is, again, and the purpose of this play is really to attack the middle of the field seams so what we're also going to do is we're going to put a hitch on our left side receiver because basically he's going to be a playmaker option against main coverage and zone coverage and really just do a good job of just kind of sitting down in the space that we're going to create for him with this tight end route. So that's the setup for the play. Now the read progression, we're going to look to the right first, then we're going to look over the middle. As you can see right there, the post route was wide open, and then we're going to look to the hitch. So we're kind of looking right, middle, left, uh, if, if you will. So uh, against main coverage, your primary read that you're going to want to hit is going to be your tight end post. It's, it's the best route against main coverage on this play, but I'll show you some other things that you can do. So again, your tight end, if he's open, throw that. You can also freeform, um, freeform this running back wheel. This running back wheel is actually really good. Uh, depending on the main coverage that they are running, you can high wall and freeform this away from the main coverage. Again, typically your, your main route is gonna be your tight end over the middle of the field against man. Now let's say that they use her that tight end route. This is where this play becomes, I think, super powerful. So let's say that they use her the tight end route and they have some safety help over the top, right? Uh, to take away you know some of the other things that we're gonna do. Then what you're gonna notice here is this playmaker hitch and this hitch in general, if they don't shade down, you can freeform down. And of course, as soon as I say that, you gotta freeform it down and inside. Um, you can freeform it down and inside uh, to that hitch. And I'll show that again, that was kind of a bad example. But again, if they use or the tight end, then there's another way that you can throw the hitch too. And I'll show it to you, it's probably the better way in a second. But again, just freeform like down inside, just give them the ball, boom. If they don't have a short route knockout, he's gonna catch that every single time. Okay, so that is a read that you could make this year if they're not shading underneath. Now, the next thing that we can do with this hitch is we can playmaker it over the middle of the field. So you see here, you set up your play, go, okay, oh, they're going to guard that. I'm going to flick the right joystick to the right, playmaker this across the middle. And you see how he's going to be kind of just this little gnat, like little gnat route that's going to be super hard for them to guard. All right. So that's like the thing. Now, we don't call this play primarily for the purpose of beating man coverage because it's not the best man beater. As you can see, it's not great against man, but it can beat man. Now, another read that you can have is on that slot receiver there. If you have short out elite on him, he will burn press man. So if they are pressing, um, he's going to be open. But as you can see right here, I mean, that route to Bettis is super good. And a lot of times against shaded down man coverage, that, that wheel route's going to fry uh, over the top. So anyways, this is going to kind of get them into this zone space. And if they are playing zone coverage, this play is really good for you. And it's really good against double Mabel coverage or cover three. But your main thing when you see zone is you're looking to hit this 
kind of seam seam wheel. Uh, you need to high point it. I think I think high point it's going to be a little bit more consistent than free forming it. As you can see, free forming it can cause the ball to go in all of these different directions that I don't think you really want on the seam wheel. Another route that you can utilize if you don't like the seam wheel uh, is you can run a running back streak. Uh, so, you know, again here, but see how I can high point it. A lot of times he's going to ag it and he's going to catch it kind of in that little soft spot. Now, typically speaking, um, another thing about zone is they're going to use with a tight end post. If they don't use with a tight end post, it's going to be open. Okay, but if they do use with a tight end post, then the next thing is now my running back read is going to be wide open in that little high point area. So kind of depending on how they play that tight end post. Now, if they if they say, well, okay, we got to go get the running back. We know we see the running back. That's the route that we have to go get. That's why the seam streak to Michael Irvin is super important to have on your play because he's going to clear out zone, and then you can high ball this right in the middle of the field. Very rarely do you see, like, middle linebackers have mid-zone knockout, and, you know, that can be a really, really valuable piece to this. Now, another thing that you can do with this play uh, against zone is this tight end post will still be really good over the middle, so you can wait on it and kind of throw it with a free form down and outside over in that area right there. Now, the other thing that we have is if they do vacate the middle of the field, so let's say that they, um, and this is really the play that this is, this, this is designed for. Let's say they give you something like this, where it's like a cover two, Mabel, double flatting, and the user is going to be in the middle of the field, right? What you can also do is you can playmaker that hitch again. So playmaker across, you see there's no zones in the middle of the field, and you see that this can just be a super, super pesky little play that just attack zone really, really well. Uh, a lot of people like to run double Mabel, especially against tight, because a lot of people that play in tight, they're trying to attack the, you know, they're trying to attack all kinds of space, but really they're trying to attack the corner routes. So this double Mabel, if, they, if that's what they're going to run on you, this is really, really hard to guard because you see here my running back is going to be open in that seam. The hitch is going to be open in the opposite seam, and the playmaker is going to be there for you. So this play really breaks down coverages really well. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description.